Hey there buddies, Tiger Meow is in and today we're gonna do an unboxing and review video. This time, it's gonna be from Spider-Man Homecoming. It's EAA074, the Spider-Man homemade suit. But first, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to get notified. This egg attack action figure is recommended for ages 15 and up. So today, we're gonna unbox one of my favorite Marvel superhero, Spider-Man. It's gonna be my first Spider-Man homemade suit and maybe my fifth Spider-Man action figure. So let the unboxing begin. Here are the parts and pieces you get with this Agatha Action Spider-Man Homecoming The Homemade Suit. You got 3 extra sets of hands, 4 web effects, 2 extra pairs of eyes, and Spider-Man. Here's a closer look on this Spider-Man figure. This is my first Spider-Man or my first action figure to have a real fabric clothes on. And I find it really cute. That hoodie jacket is just perfect. Other than the clothes, the figure is matte in finishing and is 6.5 inches tall. Here are the parts and accessories included in the set. The first set of extra hands are the web shooting hands. The second set of extra hands are the open hands for Spider-Man. And the third one are the gripping hands for the web effects. There are four web effects included in this set.
and to change Spider-Man's look, you also have two sets of extra eyes. One is a wide eyes and one is the blinking eye parts. Here are the articulations for this Egg Attack Spider-Man Homecoming, the homemade suit. He said can turn left or right, but not 360 degrees. The arms can go this high with articulations on the elbows and the wrists. You also have a little bit of articulation on the abdomen and on the waist. And you also have articulations on the leg, the knee, and the ankles. What makes this Egg Attack Action Spider-Man really special are the clothes. They are made of real fabric and in this Spider-Man homemade suit, he have 5 pieces of clothes on. His hoodie, his shirt, his trouser, and his boots. They are well made, and guess what? The zipper on his hoodies also works too. It's so cool. Let's play around with this Agatha Action Spider-Man, the homemade suit. I'll show you how you can change the eyes and change the look of this Spider-Man. You can change the eyes by snapping them out and in. And to change the hands, carefully pull it out from the figure. It's ball jointed, so it's really easy to change. If you're wondering if this Spider-Man is easy to post, well yes, because it's relatively bigger and the joints are really good.
Let's try his web shooting hands and attach the web effects on his wrist. There are four different web shooters you can use for this Spider-Man. So here's my rating for this Agatach action figure, the Spider-Man Homecoming, the homemade suit. I'm giving it a 9.5 over 10. This is my first Spider-Man homemade suit and I love it. It's fun, it's postable and his suit with real cloth adds more charm and character to the figure. I also love the size of this figure because it's not so big yet not too small. It's just perfect. Or maybe it's 9.5 over 10. So that's all for our unboxing and review video of Spider-Man Homecoming, the homemade suit. See you again next time and don't forget to subscribe. Meow! Don't forget to like my Facebook page, follow me on Instagram, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Tiger Meow is in. Today is... It's egg attacks. Zero.